Hi everyone, so I thought I'd do a quick video of uh, my Eldritch Horror storage solution. Uh, so thanks for watching and hope you find this interesting. I love watching people's storage solutions. I have the full uh, set of expansion sets. So the main game, Under the Pyramids, uh, Mountains of Madness, Dreamlands, uh, Mask of Nyarlathotep, and uh, the four small box expansions. I actually kept the small box box expansions, but I just packed them away in one of the boxes. And I actually keep some of the extra pegs here. So, yeah, Sons of Carcosa, Strange Remnant, Cities in Ruin, and Forsa Forsaken Lore. Um, I'm in the process of putting together my own expansion set, and I've got some custom cards that I'll show you here, as well as a storage solution. So, maybe just quickly I'll jump in here and show up. Uh, uh, I'm going to base these on the a series of Cthulhu-based books that I've got out here. Uh, this is a genealogy of Cthulhu. Uh, it's a, it's got some good content in here. It's kind of like a Lovecraftian, Israel, a la Peter Lavinda style. Um, second volume of the Catu journals out of Lovecraft's Providence is the psychoanalysis of Rilia, in which there are some Lovecraftian texts that are interpreted and uh, some translation of the Rilia dialect. Quite cool. And then finally, there's the archaeology of Yog Sothoth. And this has got some really insane kind of concepts of viruses from outer space and, you know, uh, maddening uh, topologies within the fragmented text of the Necronomicon. So, Lots of stuff to go crazy with. Uh, I'll leave the link below on these. If you could uh, support me with these, that'd be great. Uh, they're on sale on Amazon and Lulu, and so you can check those out. And and like I said, I'm going to develop a uh, I'm going to develop an expansion for Eldritch Horror based on these that uh, I'll, I'll be keep you guys posted on. So back to the storage solution here. I'm trying to make it a, easy for storage and also game setup, and then also for play. So for example, uh, all the boards. And the rules I just keep in one box, along with the um, uh, bag for the clues and the monster bag, keep those on the side, and, and the rule books. I was also thinking of maybe putting together a hardcover version of the combined rule book. I just thought maybe I just would bind one up. I thought that would be kind of cool. So, uh, okay, so let's get into the storage solution here. Uh, without further ado. So first of all, we've got the characters. I keep them in this tray. So I've got all the characters in this tray. I don't car I don't bag characters. I kind of leave them as the card stock. But they're all in here. Vincent Lee, the doctor. And Daryl Simmons, the photographer. Just played a game with Daryl Simmons a little bit. Uh, so they're there. Also keep the monsters here just for storage. Obviously in the game I put them in the monster bag. The other thing for setup is here I've got some... I keep the prelude cards here under the pyramid. And uh, these, are, these are the cards I was mentioning. I just had these printed up. So here we've got a set of cards. Uh, I learned about this from the Board Game Geeks board. So there was two sets of cards here. Uh, they were actually in Russian originally. We translated them to English here. So the first set is Forgotten Endings. Well, these are really cool, actually. So these Forgotten Ending cards, they look a bit like the uh, same design. Use the same design as the uh, um, Mythos cards. And, uh, and what's uh, nice about the original designer of this from... Uh, Post is they've, they're really they're really well designed. Uh, the original ones were in these were in English originally, but these are great designs. So I printed up a set of these, and I will be playing. Uh, I'll be doing some walkthroughs of the games where I play these, so you can kind of get to demo. But they're cool. They're just kind of fun ending for the game, and it was one of the pain points of the game where it sort of just ends abruptly. And then finally, there's the victory and failure cards. So for example, here if you have a at Latch Natcha wins and doom comes. There's just some flavor text. You know, this one says caught in dreams. So that's pretty cool from the dreamlands. And then 
This is where the characters, the investigators win. Nephrim Ka does not awaken. So you can see here the investigators win. Nephrim Ka does not awaken. Or the investigators win. Atlachinacha awakens. So these are these are quite cool. I think I'll do a separate video of these, how I made them, and, uh, and keep that for everyone. And then, okay, then you have your... Um, your cards, your asset cards, um, your artifacts, uh, uh, the unique asset cards, and I've broken them out by tasks and allies and etc. here. Then there's uh, condition cards, boon, talent, again, just organized roughly by their types. Uh, spells here, the Mists of Relais, and then finally the character cards and the character special conditions, you know, so here we have uh, Vincent Lee, the doctor again, and, and his backstory and some additional tasks that you can run, so that's kind of a cool setup. Uh, next we have the uh, second box here where I keep the unique monsters here, and uh, also keeping the uh, the character uh, tokens. Uh, mythos cards go here. In this section here, we have all of the uh, all of the uh, special uh, encounter cards, and then here we have some of the various decks. Uh, this is for the um, this is for the uh, cities in ruin deck. Down here we have the uh, the mystery cards, the special mystery cards. Here's the Atlachinacha mystery card. Uh, all the different mystery cards are here. And then here we have the research cards. So here we have Shudmel, something like that. Shudmel research cards. So you got all of them. And I also included in here, uh, I believe these Antarctica research cards in there. And then finally we have these location cards. So this is uh, from the, under the pyramids. You get the standard ones: uh, Arkham, San Francisco, and all the different sets. And then here you have things like your um, expedition cards and uh, different encounter cards here. And then finally, the gate cards. Uh, and then lastly, we've got the trays. Eldritch tokens, train and ship tokens, focus, uh, health and sanity, uh, plus and minus for attributes. And then in the bottom section here is mostly a setup one, so I've kind of left it deep here with uh, clue tokens. They'll go in the clue bag, our portals, some miscellaneous sized tokens, and then again unbagged, the uh, the great old ones, Yoke Sothoth. Okay, so that's my setup. Um, uh, please uh, like and subscribe, and um, if you could uh, follow those links over to the books, I will keep you guys posted on my development for an Eldritch Horror-based expansion of this that's in, in the works. I'll also do a video um, talking about these these expansion cards, Forgotten Endings, and uh, and flavor texts. I think they're really cool, and uh, look forward to some. Playthrough, some game playthrough too. I think I'll, I'm going to start a series of doing the game playthroughs uh, during lockdown here. So uh, thank you and uh, talk to you soon. Take care. Bye-bye.